Ah, my dear ones, doing this video on the first of Keslev, which is for me the first of 40 days of Hanukkah, which end on the 10th of Teves. These are brought down in my videos. You know, I have almost a thousand videos. And just like you, I never go back and listen to the old ones. But now I am. And the reason why I'm doing this is that I've taken myself as my own guru. And when I listen to these videos, I basically don't even recognize myself because they're done in a, in a space, in a spiritual space that's hard to recognize. Because I do the video, I put it on, and then I'm out of that space. And I never go back. I have writings, I've never gone back. Because I'm only, only interested in the present. It's an eternal present with an internal presence. And there's a division in that eternal presence and present of always into two. In this case, it's the body and the soul. You see? And even when you light a candle, you have that body of the candle, and the soul, the light. And this is revealed on Hanukkah. Because the object is to make the light out of olive oil. The Jew has the olive. And what does that mean? Crushed. Crushed. So that's, you have to crush the olive to make the olive oil. And I'm crushed. <laughs> and that's my bracha, that I, I was crushed. And that's why what I'm saying is the light from olive oil. Even in the Shema, which to me is the highest level in Judaism, because it's in the Bria world. So everything comes down into this Bria world. And otherwise we wouldn't be saying things, because we'd be in the Etziliot world, which would be only soul. But we're bringing this down into the Bria world from the Otsea world, and we're bringing the Shema down, and so everything is included in the Shema. And when we say it in the prayers, we say the second line also of Brook Shem Kavod, and that's from the angels. See? So the Shema is actually a physicality. It has essence, of course, of the spirituality. And then the angels actually bring it down even more into the, into the physical. So let me just do a moment of two of Baruch Shem Kavod Malkuto Li Oilam Voed. Baruch, Shem Kavod. Blessed is your name, but mm, forget about what the words really mean. Let's do some gematria on these. That's 600. 600 is the final mem. It's like the, the, the double dollar in the back of the tefillin is a final mem. The 
double dalit is 16, which uh, could be the 16 days of the two ways of the of the uh, uh, Hanukkah candles of Beth Hillel and then Beth Shammai. But 600 there. And then when we say Malkuto, we bend our head down. We bring it down, Malkuto into Malkus. Malkuto, and why do we bring that down? And what's, what's the gematria of Malkuto? It's 502, and that's basa. Flesh. Malkuto, down into the flesh. Because we're two here. We're, we're soul and flesh. We're this body of light, this body of ore. And this body of ore, <laughs> ore with an olive, and ore with an iron, in, in one. And that's what they're doing. The, 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 the angels are bringing it down, brook shem malkuto, into the flesh. And leo lam voed. Well, you know, and from my other video, Baruch Shem Kavod, that's 600. Malkuto is 502, that's 1102, plus, whoa, 16 letters, which, as I've said before, could be the, these could be also the 16 candles of Hanukkah. Whoa, to Malkuto, 1,102 plus 16 letters, 1,118, and that's the Shema. The first, the line above. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. The Kamatri is 500, is 1,118, which is a combination of the three spellings of Elohim, and the four spellings of yud heh vav -Hey, which comes out to that. So that's pretty spiritual right here. And the angels bring it down, and we bring it Malkuto. We bring it down into the earth, into the Malkus. And then Leo Lum Voed, and that's the thing that I was actually working on, because Leo Lum Voed, is 176 for Leo Lum, Va'ed is 80, that's 256, plus eight letters, that's 264, plus two words, and one for the phrase, it's 267, and that's Nazir. That's me. And the Nazir bends the interpretations a little bit. Sal sal. Little twisting. And let's do va'ed. Va'ed is 80. And 80 is the years of strength. If you look, you're supposed to live 70, which is the large iron. But if you live to 80, that's the years of strength, and that's va'ed. And in Va'ed, that's 80, that's the gematria of the letter, of the, of the uh, letter Pei, mouth, Pei. And the, and the Pei looks like an Ouroboros a little bit, doesn't it? Or at least a uh, head between the knees. And within the Pei, you know, is a bet. So the bet that starts the... Torah really has a pay around it. The, the, the bet that starts the Torah is the internal of the pay. And this 80, this pay, is yesod. But they also say that 80 is the level of bina. 
because it's 10 years each of going up from Malkus to, through uh, Hesed, that's 70 years, those are the uh, Zir Anpen, and Nukuva, seven, that's, that's 70 years, and 80, you go up into Bina. So there's a link between 80 as Yesod, the normative gematria of Yesod, and Bina. I've always thought that the real link between Yesod is, is, is Hokma, the father, the father with Hokma. But there's a link between Yesod and Bina. And let's do the full gematria of Yesod. Vav is 12. Ayin is, is 130. Dalit is 434. That's 576. That's plus eight letters and three words. That's eight, excuse me. Yes. No. Forget that. I've... What I've used here um, is the spelling of the Vav with an Aleph, which I don't usually use. So there's a reason for that. That makes Vav 13. That makes I in 130. That makes Dalit 434. That's 577 plus 9. That's 586 which is a, the, the most fabulous gematria of everything. Because that's Shofar, that's Yerushalayim, that's Yesod, it's fully spelt out without the Aleph. So this Vayed has with the Aleph in it. And this Aleph to me is very important here because you see, I think I'm in Olam Haba. You see? And the difference between Golas and Geula, redemption, is the Aleph in it. And when you say the Shema, you put the Aleph in front of it. This film. You put the Aleph in front of your eye. And that's why I had the Aleph and the Vav here at the Vored. And Vahed is a, is a tremendous word here to end the second line of the Shema, the, 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 the angel's line. Because it has an Aleph, it has an Ayan, and it has a Dalit. And that's the two letters that are large in the Shema itself. So we complete this with an I, a Vav, with an Ayan and a Dalit. So it completes the whole line. And that 80 is the yesod because that's the real secret of everything. Ein Sof represents itself in the yesod. Just like Malachim come from yesod of Etziliut. And this yesod of Etziliut then filters down when you baruch when Baruch means bringing down into Berea, into the physical planes, the manifested, manifested planes, not into just the air planes, the spirit, air plane, the spiritual planes, the soul planes, the the the. Well, because the Sephirot are in that Celia itself, and then no, only less, you know, past the. Uh, parochet or uh, window or, or, or screens, something down below, and that's three worlds, and the fourth world is up there. And it can be considered the shin, the three prong, and the four prong shin. And remember that four prong shin is the level of Bina. And so the point is, the point is that there's a spiritual and a basa. A body of light and a body of flesh. And so in this world even, you can choose your own body because those are the two f forms of the body in, in Olam Haba. It'll be the, the, 
the uh, body of of spirituality, so to speak, of the Rambam with an M, or the body of of uh, excuse me, the body of, of of spirituality of the Rambam, or the body of flesh of the Ramban with an N. So this whole idea of bringing things that, you know, to me, I've been watching people eat when I go, whoa, you know, is this what, is this what the whole idea is, to eat like this? You know, to, to satisfy the physical taste buds, you know, put sugar and salt and pepper and spices to spice it up, so to speak. Whatever you're doing, the potato, the rice, you know, spaghetti without sauce. So is it the idea to feed the body for, or to feed the body in, in like a, a tasted pleasure of the tongue? The tongue. Is that the, is that the game? Ooh, did we, did we, were we put here to get fat? When you are fat, can you can you see the spiritual body within you? <laughs> the whole idea, you see, one of the things is now because I'm becoming a fruitarian. That's right, I'm becoming a fruit. A fruitarian. Not a vegetarian. And I'm not part of this new game of vegan and 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 gluten free and coconut milk yogurt a, a vegan a, 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 a fruitarian and I'm going to tell the story later about how I, I met a fruitarian when I was 13 in my house but the thing is there aren't so many fruitarians because they're eaten from the tree of life <laughs> and the others are eaten from the ground groundhog's day and when you eat a fruit you don't kill the tree and that's the whole point so I see what I'm walking around I'm going to do some walking of New York, and all you see is restaurants, fancy sitting in restaurants, saying, meals over wine, chat. I'll have an, a, a 1987 wine. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Mm. A wonderful aroma. <laughs> it's not funny. Because that's why people don't recognize Gaula over Gaulus. So, the other thing is these letters. There are 24 letters in the second line and 25 letters in the first line of the Shema. If we take these 24 letters that precede the Dalit of the Shema, those are the 24 days we get before we get the Dalit, which is 16 because the Dalit is four sized four times the size of a dollar. And so this dollar, which is a double dollar, because it's four times four, and that's 16. Those are the 16 days of Hanukkah. Plus the 24 days of, before the, from the first to the, through the 24th of Keslev, 
and you then have the Dalit, which represents Hanukkah. So Hanukkah is related in the first line of Shema. Or if you just want to use the 24 letters of the second line of the Shema, each one of those letters corresponds to the first 24 days of Keslev before we go to Hanukkah. Simple. Before we go to Hanukkah, these are the 24 days. So each of these letters here represents one of the days. So for the top word, we have a shin. And for the bottom word, we have a bet. So what I've done for my own meditation is I've made a, you know, a correspondence. So the first one is shin, and the second one bet. So these two words today are shin and bet. I mean, two letters. And so we put it together, if you want. Shin, bet, and that's a nice meditation for the day. So it's 360, 412, 772, plus, you know, well, it's good. 772, that's a 350, so it's a 3, 300 and... Uh, 86, you know, think, um, meditate on Shin, on Bet, and on Shin Bet as the first of Keslev. And the next day, we'll do the Resh, of, oh, no, excuse me, for, for Shema, so that's uh, the Mem and the Resh. It's 240. And that comes out to be Ma Kok, cockroach, which has something to do. So, things like that. Mem, only Resh, only. See which one is the soul, which one is the bos Basa. You're a component of two, soul and basa. Okay? And that's it. And I'm actually worried about my body of light. That to me is the real body of the world. It's brought down here, but we'll speak. In the meantime, I'm taking myself as my own guru, and that means something. And I'm going over my own 1,000 videos. And the essences of these videos are going to be a new position I take, which I will speak about shortly.